the beginning, God told Eve, you don't need a man to exist. It be your own choice to spew blood, eat fruit. You have all the ribs you need. One, the North Carolina State insect is the honeybee. The survival of the hive is solely based on the livelihood of the queen. The only fertile female continues to create worker bees to keep the hives thriving at the age of 34. Two and a half years married and childless. <laughs> you must imagine the pressure I'm feeling while I want to be pregnant. Dumb scared! <sighs> I'm scared I won't survive a pregnancy, and if I do, my baby won't. I shouldn't, but it's a slave. 25 years, few days before surgery number one. No, 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 no. All he did today was get rid of the, the rotten parts here, you know. The parts beyond fixing. And James Marion Sims knew that if he could fix this, he'd become very famous and very rich. So that's exactly what he did. From 1929 to 1974, the state of North Carolina sterilized young poverty-stricken women, thousands of which are still alive today. It was spring of 1967, and I had just gotten my young wings around the idea that I was going to be a new mother. <laughs> and I, oh, I was a quick one, and I'm sure childbirth is a fear that I Every parent has nightmares about. But you know, it turns out statistically, the odds are against me. According to the Center for Disease Control, most pregnancy-related deaths are often preventable. Yet, racial and ethnic disparities within pregnancy-related deaths continue to persist this horrific reality is true for many black women and has been since the very beginning of this country. So, using the articles from the Washington Post, Fox, Elle, Mick, Essence, BuzzFeed, The Poetries, Lilith by Ebony Stewart, The Mitochondrial Eve by Anonymous, and Sting by Deborah Mouton, and the dramas Behind the Sheet by Christopher Simpson and The Experimentation on Black Women by Andrea Coleman. A testimony. Fu Iami. Bola, my mom, and every black woman that has fallen victim to yet another faulty system. You are heard here. You belong here. And we deserve better. I almost died giving birth to my daughter, Olympia. <laughs> Yet I consider myself fortunate while I had a um, pretty easy pregnancy. Her heart rate dropped dramatically during contractions and then I underwent an emergency. See, the bees in my hive are a bit more. Bzz. I quit there. But we made it. Yeah, <laughs> me and my baby. You know, I recall the pain. <laughs> The agony, him, sweat, he's groaning. The king in my womb destined for the throne is coming into life faster. Then, mm, honey, can get the government to the hospital. Ain't no paw to me, right? God, ain't no paw to me beyond fixing. I have seen more than one of us go to a white doctor and come back with more problems than when we came. Does it hurt them? I'm sorry, sir. But does this tool, does it, does it hurt them? Because if it does, then we often scream more. 
Stay still. We often scream more when we fear something. <laughs> Rather than when it is actually painful, he asked if he could touch her. This was back when men saw women as more than an afterthought. He said, teach me how to give birth. She said, you can't handle the war wounds. Bring a maid of geography. I know this land, these hips, these thighs. Oh, how sweet the first time I had thought <laughs> about getting pregnant was on my honeymoon, OK? And then I read a stat that said black women are 243% more likely than white women to die from birth-related issues. They blew smoke into my room <coughs> to keep me sedated behind the one-way glass and the manila folder. You know, the folder that told them that my species was too primitive to evolve. And that change wasn't a learned behavior. But something I would never get, I could give them opium after surgeries. Just like the others. And during, sir, what about during the surgery, sir? <laughs> Don't be silly. I expect more from you. All of you, to be honest, I am. Um, Lucky to have survived. You know, doctors took me back into surgery where they told me I had a, a, a large hematoma. A swelling of clotted blood in my womb for several months. Eve is a forest fire. She feels like she let someone borrow her, and now they never want to give her back. Eve said, it's pretty remarkable that um, gynecology was built on the backs of black slave women, and maybe not their backs. Their vaginas were the doctor filled. She cures with cool water. She feeds the barren woman with honey and her body swells up by waking to an empty belly. No, by, by this time our wings had dried. I never knew that I was an imposter. That all my life I was told I was something more, more special than I was. They, they took something from me. Something that was God given for she is the wisdom of the forest. And she is the wisdom of the river where the doctor filled. She will not be silent or tolerant. She'll be Lilith, Eve, Henrietta, Serena, because black women don't receive the health care they deserve from the moment they are born. And you know our mothers. God, our mothers didn't receive the health care they deserve from the moment they were born. You know what my mom told me when she passed away? She told me she was scared. Now, can you look in her womb and tell me what my mother's favorite color was? Now, can she, can she rest in peace if you are not shooting bits of her off to the moon? They took something from me. Something no amount of compensation can replace. Tell me. Tell me how do you give someone back their inheritance when their dreams lay sticky and spilled all over the operating room? America, forgetting black women will say that this, that this, that <laughs> is mine. You know. Look at what the, look at what the Lord has made and then after, black women will be mispronounced. There is a quiet riot inside of me, it's, you are what your mother is. 
Therefore, God is a black woman. They say can't escape skepticism, negligence, dismissal, even when the topics and questions are their own bodies. 28, excuse me. This is surgery number, number 28, sir. And I do not want to be touched. You know, I can, I can hear you all and I didn't know it felt this way. All of it. This is for she who jumped. This is for she who sacrificed. This is for she who carries weight. And this, this is for she who is not comfortable with being consumed. <laughs>